The now 50-year-old war on poverty in the United States, as well as the creation of Medicare and Medicaid, lifted many seniors out of poverty. Still, it is very present. There is no extra. You're lucky if you make it from, from day to day, month to month. Lucy Vaughn of Baltimore, who survived a brain tumor, lives on $8,500 a year in Social Security payments, well below the poverty line of about $11,000. When people think of poverty in America, seniors like Vaughn may not come to mind. 72-year-old Vaughn lives a modest life, made better by the help of her daughter, who lives nearby. Vaughn had to retire as a home health care worker because of her own health crisis, which is a key driver in pushing older people into poverty. Even with Medicare supplemented by Medicaid, a program Vaughn qualified for because of her diminished income, one crisis led to another, unaffordable housing. The rent was more money than I was getting from Social Security. Vaughn found her way to senior housing owned by Catholic Charities of Baltimore, Maryland's largest social services provider outside of government. She pays less than $100 a month for a one-bedroom apartment. In the southern tip of West Virginia, 65-year-old Kenneth Carter created a home he could afford, a 10 by 20 storage unit he outfitted with electricity and plumbing. Health problems before he qualified for Medicare accelerated his descent into poverty. Carter says he accumulated $50,000 in medical debt for treatment of hepatitis C and then a liver transplant. Now some providers demand payment up front. They've told me quite a few times at different hospitals, uh, if you don't pay this co-payment, we cannot see you today. Carter has a car, but he uses it sparingly. I drive it when I have to, when I go to the grocery store or, or a doctor's appointment. And uh, so I don't, I don't spend very much on gas. When Carter does get to the grocery store, fresh foods are out of reach. Just about every time that I go to the store, I'll be looking at the fruits and the vegetables and I want to get it, but I know I can't. So. I just whistle on by and buy what I can. Even with the support of government programs as well as a patchwork of social services and local charities, to be old and poor in America is simply hard. You stand on the, the seesaw and you try to balance yourself. I know one day it's going to go. If the rent goes up, if food stamps are reduced, if Medicare, Medicaid, or Social Security are scaled back, those changes could tip that delicate balance for many seniors living on the edge. This is Jackie Judd.